Oh, morning breakfast. Ooh. Hey guys, so we kind of ran into our first big snag uh, as far as this clothing company goes. Um, we're trying to find a company that will actually print on a large section of the shirts because right now everything that it looks like that we can get printed is literally just a square on the chest and that's not even close to what we want to do. We kind of want full body graphics to, you know, really pack a punch and look really sick. So we've been searching all morning trying to find a fulfillment company that can actually do that and we haven't had any luck yet. So. We're gonna go back, redesign some of those designs, and uh, see if we can make that work. Dixie hates t-shirt designing, but she's probably the cutest dog in the world. Oh, Dixie is so cute. See, this is exactly what I mean. This is as big as we could possibly print this graphic. I'm wanting to be able to print all the way down to here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I want to print all the way down to the bottom of the shirt. And we can't find anywhere that is going to let us do that. So the search continues. I mean, that looks pretty cool, but if we had, we have a couple other designs that really need to be large and in charge. And this isn't working, so we'll keep you updated. So we've got that email sent off. Uh, we've got some questions that need answered from the website. But once we get that figured out, I think we're good to go to hopefully start the next couple steps. It was a little frustrating this morning not being able to uh, get the prints the size that we wanted at the website that we wanted to use. It goes to show, man. You just got to push on and persist. And if you really want to do something, just fucking figure out how to do it. Okay, so I think it's because of the fabric that we were wanting to print it on that we couldn't get them as big as we wanted. I think these Tribland shirts are actually a lot longer than a normal shirt. Uh, so you can't print top to bottom. But we found out that if you have a soft a soft style, I think it's called, soft style cotton, um, you can actually get it printed the size that we want. So it looks like this. So that's looking a lot sicker. It's a lot bigger than what it originally looked like. So I don't know exactly what these soft style cotton shirts feel like. So we're gonna go down to Created Clothing and hopefully get our hands on some of them and uh, see what it actually feels like. If it's a soft cotton and it, it feels really comfortable, then it's, uh, I think that's what we're gonna go with. Just had a meeting with an old buddy. He had to pick up my camera to do a video shoot tonight, music video. Uh, but we got chatting about wedding films and wedding photography and he's starting changing his stuff up this year. Lee Watkins, LMW Photos. Uh, check him out, he's awesome. Uh, but yeah, he's super excited about changing his style and everything up uh, over the last couple years and how much business it's getting him. And just talking with him got me so amped on starting this year's wedding season. I can't wait to incorporate some of my new style into it. Uh, so keep a, keep a watch out for those because those videos are going to be sick. Uh, Freshfinishmedia.com All we got left to do today is make some dinner. Just heading down to Choice is going to pick up some ingredients for gluten-free, vegan mac and cheese. This recipe will blow your mind. If you haven't seen the recipe video on how this is made, make sure you check it out in the video section below because it'll blow your mind. And the next magic trick that we're going to be adding to our vegan book of sorcery is turning this into a cheese sauce. It's pretty crazy. You just wait. Step one, peel like a boss. Next step is cut all those veggies up and uh, make sure you don't forget to cry like the little bitch that those onions just proved you were. Boil them veggies. Whoa. Babe, when you see this, it looks crazy. Our elements are purple. They're not purple in real life, but they look purple on film. The magic of show business. There we go, boiled. And we know it's boiled because we can cut a carrot with the side of a fork. Boom. Then you get all those ingredients into the blender. Cashews. All the veggies. One cup of the starchy water that the vegetables were being boiled in. Nutritional yeast, there's that special ingredient again. Garlic. In the recipe video, it calls for garlic powder, but we switch it up because fresh garlic tastes better. Onion powder. 
And the recipe also calls for quite a bit of salt, but we don't eat too much salt, so we usually salt it afterwards. Once it's already in the bowl, we find out that you use a little less salt doing it that way. Um, but salt's key, or it's not gonna taste like it's supposed to, that's for sure. Then you're gonna blend it all up and just watch as this turns to cheese sauce. Also, make sure you got that tofu cooking because mac and cheese is not mac and cheese without tofu. Then take that wonderful sauce you just made and pour that cheesy goodness all over your noodles, which you had pre-cooked. If I had to walk you through that step, you should probably get out of the kitchen. And that's how you make deliciously creamy, amazing, vegan, gluten-free mac and cheese. And there you have the final product, delicious. And if you're a weirdo like Amy, you're probably gonna ruin it with ketchup. <laughs> well, if you're looking for the best ice cream in the world, Almond Dream Gelato Salted Caramel. It's incredible. Mmm. And then you can make it look like that because there's an alternative for everything these days. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you comment, subscribe, do whatever you need to do below. Have a good night.